I won't just talk about tires. I'm going to tell you a little bit about us, a little bit about the transformation we've been undergoing at Bridgestone. Um, but I also have to note, I can now say I've played the Allen. Jason Aldean, Charlie Daniels, Gary Garfield, I've played the Allen. It's a great day for me. This really is an honor. It really is. Um, uh, and, and it's a great opportunity for me to share a little bit about our company with you. Uh, our company has been on a transformation. And the transformation, I would say, has some parallels, if you will, to the transformation that's been going on with respect to Nashville. We moved here in 1991, my wife and I and our kids. And Nashville was kind of a sleepy little southern town. I think it was best, that's best exemplified um, by uh, shortly after we moved here, there was a, a poll um, that was conducted by the Tennessee and it said the best Italian restaurant in Nashville was the Olive Garden. <laughs> Everyone in this room knows that the world is changing at phenomenal speed and that will only continue and pick up. And you can either be behind the curve or you can be part of the change and help drive that change in the world and hopefully be ahead of the curve. And if you're gonna be that, you've got to be innovative. And that was not something that we, we were truly excelling at. So we have made that a big part and we will continue to drive to make that a big part of our culture. The innovation is not only products and items such as you see here on the screen, things that are public, but there are black box items, things that I cannot share with you. But what has given rise to that, one of the things we've done is, is an online portal that we call BIG, Bridgestone Innovation Gateway. The fundamental premise of BIG is that good ideas can come from anywhere. So we created an online portal where anyone in the organization, anyone, can go online and submit an innovation idea. And it could be a general improvement idea, and that then gets pushed out to that part of the organization. But they can submit a game-changing innovation idea. Anyone else in the company has the opportunity to comment on it, collaborate with them online. Then we have a team of executives that regularly reviews all of the innovation ideas that are submitted. They then take those ideas that they think are most promising, and they come to me and we decide whether to fund and whether to structure an ongoing innovation project related to those ideas. And it's just one of the many ways that we are creating the courage, the candor, the collaboration, and driving innovation in the company. And we have a number of those projects that are ongoing right now. Now, being a premier place to work can mean different things for different people. For me, it means this. It means a high-performing company. You have high-performing people. Those people are extraordinarily, extraordinarily engaged in the organization and extraordinarily motivated and thrilled to be there. And lastly, but a huge part of it, the company recognizes that one of its greatest, deepest responsibilities for the future of the organization and to its people is to truly develop those people to be the leaders of tomorrow. And that is something that frankly was not a focus area of ours, but it is now. And we have rebuilt our HR group, and we are putting in place processes and, and structures to help drive the development of people each and every single day that we operate as one of our most important responsibilities. One of the other things that has been a part of our culture for many years, and it's one of the things that I'm most proud of about Bridgestone, is we uh, strive very hard to be an outstanding corporate citizen. And there are many parts involved in that, but the three most important parts from my standpoint are these. You, you see the hard hat there, it's all about safety. Safety comes first. I believe, we believe, People have the right to leave work in fundamentally the same condition that they came to work. Maybe a little tired, so they put in a good day's work, right? But they have the right to go home in the same condition that they came to work. So safety always comes first to the environment. I'm so proud that the broader Bridgestone organization truly believes and truly recognizes 
First of all, we have one planet. We have no other place to go. It is, we are stewards of this planet and we have an obligation to help preserve it and sustain it for future generations. And to that end, we do all kinds of things with respect to environmental activities. Our goal is to be totally 100% landfill free. Three of our factories already are. We have set a goal to reduce our carbon footprint by 25% by 2020, and another 25% after that. So we are doing a lot. Third part of being an outstanding corporate citizen is helping the communities in which we work be better places to live. Business is not separate and apart from the community. We are part of the community, just as each individual is part of the community. And we all should be helping to make the places where we work and live be better places to live. And we do a lot in that regard. We do a lot in terms of driving uh, fundraising and making our own contributions through the Bridgestone Trust Fund. And we do, do a lot in terms, in terms of, of devoting our time and energy to help the communities in which we work be better places to live. 